So 100 families in a particular neighborhood are asked their annual household income to the nearest $5,000. And uh, the results are summarized in the frequency table shown here. Uh, and let's see if we can calculate the mean household income. So to do this, we're going to need to find the sum of these scores, which means I'm going to have to imagine adding uh, 15, 6 times, right? Because this is telling me that I have 6 15s. Uh, and then I'm going to have to add 20, uh, 8 times. I'm just going to imagine here that I'm adding it 8 times. Uh, and so on and so forth for each of these other scores. And this would get really, really tedious if we actually had to type all these in. Uh, and so we're going to make our lives a little easier. Remember that if I add a number, like in this case, if I add 15 6 times, that is exactly the same as multiplying 15 times 6, right? And likewise, here, adding 20 8 times is the same as multiplying 20 times 8. And so this is going to make my life really easy because now I can also add in 25 times 11 and 30 times 17. In other words, I'm going to add the score, the income value, times the frequency. And so if I calculate all that out, uh, I don't know if I want to try to write it out. I'll try. Oh, yeah, that was a long line. So we add up all of our incomes times frequency, and then we're going to divide by the 100 families in the neighborhood. Now, notice if they hadn't told us this number, we could always find it by adding all up, adding up all of our frequencies, uh, which would have added up to 100 different families. Uh, so going ahead and calculating my numerator there, uh, I calculate that out to be 33.90, uh, divide that by 100, and I get 33.9. Uh, and so it would appear that the mean income uh, of our sample is 33.9 thousand dollars, because remember that this was being measured in thousands of dollars, uh, so right, so we could also write that as 33,900. Uh, dollars. Okay, so now let's look at a scenario uh, where we get one more family. Notice we're adding one more family to our, our frequency table here. Um, one more family just moved into the neighborhood, and this happens to be a really wealthy family uh, that makes uh, five million dollars a year, right? And five million dollars would be five thousand thousands. Uh, so before we had 3390 over 100 now we're going to have that original 3390 plus an extra 5000 times 1 right out of 101 families uh so we end up with 8390 whoops 8390 divided by 101 is 83.069 uh so this suggests a mean in the range of $83.1 thousand dollars. Now this is really interesting because, uh, remember the mean is supposed to be like an average, or it is an average, uh, it's supposed to be some measure of the middle, of the center. Uh, and if you look at this though, m almost everybody, a hundred out of the hundred one people are making less than eighty-three thousand dollars. It's only uh, because of this one family that the mean is so high. And so one of the downsides of the mean uh, is that it's very sensitive to this thing, which is called an outlier, which is data that's outside the sort of primary grouping of the data. Uh, and so the mean is quite sensitive to that, uh, as we can see in this example.